the capital but before we get there let's get a quick update from Criselda Lewis she is right there on Church Square very good morning to you Criselda it looks very wet and very rainy there at the moment just give us an idea what's happening Morning uh, to you, Eben. I'm really struggling to hear you at this point because of the loud music that is blurring from the speakers and the singing and dancing that we've seen here at Church Square in Pretoria since very early this morning. We understand that opposition party members and supporters started r arriving from as early as four o'clock this morning, saying they're here to march against President Jacob Zuma. Well, this is where the march will begin and will head uh, to the union buildings. It's really raining quite heavily here at Church Square and other parts of Pretoria as well. And I guess opposition party members uh, and supporters are hoping, and the leadership as well, is hoping that that would not dampen the spirits of the thousands that are expected to gather here to march to the union buildings. Well, not much of a police presence that we've managed to see around this area uh, since this morning, but police are certainly leaving nothing to chance. Just looking a bit to my right as well, where I'm sure you cannot see at this point, but uh, uh, hundreds of uh, other opposition uh, members and supporters are just about coming in and uh, it's also hoped I guess at this stage that the national bus strike which is currently underway will not damper or hinder the numbers that the opposition parties were expected and there are thousands to come here and uh, march uh, to the union buildings. Let's chat now uh, to the DA's uh, Mabina Siabe who is the spokesperson for the DA leader Musi Maimane. Uh, Mr. Siabe, a day that all opposition parties have come together to march against President Jacob Zuma. It's raining quite heavily. There's the national bus, bus strike. Are you still expecting the large numbers? We're definitely expecting the large numbers. Today is a festival of unity where despite our political differences we're able to say that we agree that the people of South Africa must come first as well as the constitution because we can no longer face a situation as long as President Jacob Zuma is in office that uh, we run a country smoothly. It cannot be business as usual. It's going to be rolling mass action until Zuma vacates the union buildings, whether through a motion of no confidence or he's, or he's removed uh, uh, via, via uh, uh, other means. But at the end of the day, we're going to be peaceful, we're going to conduct ourselves in a manner that uh, uh, gives pride to our democracy. And ultimately today we're together and saying Zuma must fall. In terms of contingency plans that have been made, one of the other big stories today is of course the national bus strike. Are there contingency measures that have been made, in particular for those who are making their way to Church Square on their own? South Africans are very dynamic uh, uh, people, so therefore we don't expect the bus uh, strike to affect us too badly. South Africans who want to be here and are passionate about their country will be here, so we don't expect the bus strike to affect us too badly. Uh, the Democratic Alliance, together with, together with other opposition uh, uh, parties, have been calling for President uh, Jacob to, uh, Zuma to step down post that uh, cabinet reshuffle. But what other action are we likely to see? We've seen a march of this sort last week as well. President Jacob Zuma remains the president of the country, and uh, certainly it's not up to opposition parties on their own. We know the vote of no confidence is coming up as well, but uh, other measures uh, perhaps that the Democratic Alliance, together with other opposition parties, are planning? Crystal, as I said, it's not business as usual. We're going to put pressure on President Jacob Zuma wherever. He's not going to be able to sleep right. He's not going to enjoy his birthday today. We're going to put pressure on the streets, in the courts and in Parliament until President Jacob Zuma vacates the union buildings. Because this is a man who has long forgotten about the people of South Africa and puts his own interests ahead of others. He has put the interests of the Guptas ahead of the people of South Africa. And the fact that Jacob Zuma and his circle laugh about junk status means that he's laughing at the poorest of the poor in South Africa. Because it's going to become more difficult for the people of South Africa to find work, they're not going to be able to put food on the table. By virtue of the fact that uh, thousands are going to be gathered today during the week, is testament to the fact that we're not well, the ANC government under President Jacob Zuma is unable to create jobs. We don't want the thousands of people to be here, but ultimately they cannot find work and they're taking that call directly to the president to say, vacate your office so we can start the process of building an economy and our people can find work. I guess you're also putting your hopes on that uh, vote of no confidence. Uh, we know as well that uh, you know there have been calls by other opposition parties for ANC MPs to join them in that vote. We've seen the former president uh, Thabo Mbeki also add his voice to that, asking uh, you know MPs uh, to vote with their conscience and vote and put South Africa first.
most. Are you hopeful perhaps that perhaps uh, uh, if uh, you're not successful, I guess, uh, in this call, perhaps through other means, including through the parliamentary process, perhaps uh, that will be successful on your part? Well, ultimately, we've called upon members of parliament to put aside their political differences. And when they swore an oath of office before the millions of South Africans, when they became members of parliament, they swore to put the people of South Africa first and uphold the constitution. Now, to vote against a motion of no confidence undermines that. If ANC members of parliament vote to ensure Zuma remains as president, they're endorsing corruption. They're saying that President Jacob Zuma must be allowed to be corrupt. But as opposition parties, we're saying no longer will that happen. That President Jacob Zuma will not sleep and will not be business unusual until he's removed. So we're not pinning our hopes on just a motion of no confidence or marches. We're going, it's rolling mass action. You know, speaking to some analysts, just uh, finally, Mabine, is that, uh, you know, some analysts say that uh, it's unlikely that, uh, you know, ANC MPs would vote with the opposition, even though some have expressed dissatisfaction, including the manner in which uh, the cabinet reshuffle was handled. Instead, they would want to remove President Jacob Zuma uh, through their own processes internally. But we've not seen that kind of action, of course, coming out from the National Working Committee as well. While we saw dissent uh, previously and disunity amongst the top six itself, there was sort of a unified statement that was given by uh, the African National Congress after. They're unified behind corruption and they must face the consequences thereof. As opposition parties, we're, we're working hard to ensure that we save this country from the ANC, that we liberate this country from the ANC because they continue to undermine our people and act in a manner that is lawless. Therefore, they'll face the consequences come the 2019 general elections when they're evicted by the people of South Africa through the ballot box. In the short term, we want to remove President Jacob Zuma. But in the long term, an ANC that endorses President Jacob Zuma will be removed from the union buildings and will be putting a, a, an opposition member as the president of South Africa come 2019. And just finally, just uh, will you also be mobilizing some of your members and supporters uh, outside uh, uh, Parliament, the National Assembly, when uh, that vote of no conference is heard? We heard other political parties say they will certainly be doing so. The day of the, uh, the motion of no confidence, all roads lead to Parliament. As I said, President Jacob Zuma will not uh, rest until he's removed from office. Therefore, it's rolling mass action, whether it's in Parliament, whether it's here in Tswane, whether it's Johannesburg, wherever. The people of South Africa are going to come out in their numbers and make it known that Zuma must go and South Africa must come first. Thank you very much uh, for your time there, Mabine Siabe, who is the spokesperson for the uh, leader of uh, the DA, Musi Maimane. It's pouring quite heavily here, yeah, but I must say I'm quite grateful for these umbrellas uh, that uh, many of these uh, different political party supporters and members uh, have managed to just put over my head here. But it certainly has not deterred the spirit. Uh, thousands of them have already now uh, come through here to Church Square and we're expecting many uh, thousands of others, of course, on the part of the Democratic Alliance and the part of uh, the UDM as well as the Congress of the People as well as uh, the African Christian Democratic Party to come here as well and march to the Union buildings. We're expecting maybe just uh, many speeches uh, to take place here at Church Square before they move from here to the Union buildings. We also understand from traffic authorities that some of the roads leading to the Union buildings will be closed at this stage. But, uh, you know, some concern, of course, uh, on the part of that national bus strike on whether others will be able to make it uh, to Church Square, those who want to participate in this National Day of Action.